Said to shoot at something. Veins is my thing. I'm being hit this stuff like crazy. Okay, let's avoid. Yikes! I'm getting poisoned. <laughs> I see. It's like opening up, and we have to shoot in there when it's open. Boy, I'm almost dead. <laughs> Being poisoned like crazy. Hide over here, indeed. Oh, oh, oh boy, I'm so close to death. I'm like hovering at half a heart right now. Are you out of. Ah, I'm recovered. Okay, yeah, I'll heal up too. You don't have any torches. I'm trying to work out what to shoot. I. Do you have any torches? No, I'm out. I'm just gonna sit here and hit the spawner from the distance and see if it works. There's a sign on the back wall, and something keeps opening up. Yeah. Oh, what did I get hit by just now? Oh. By you. Mr. Skeleton. Mm. Alright, as soon as it shoots, I'm gonna go run for it. Okay. Let's see what's back here. Oh, besides you. There's two other zombies up top. Nope, skeleton behind you, skeleton behind you. Okay, I can't quite read that sign. Shoot. Shoot arrows in here. Okay, okay I'm about okay, to so when it... go. Yep, when it opens up. Ah! Got an arrow in, I think. Whoa. I see cobwebs up there, I'm not sure. Arrows sticking cobwebs, I'm not sure though. There's one off on the side as well. Yeah, I've, I've shot several arrows in there. Okay. I'm getting brutalized by poison, though. Well, I'm surprised mm -hmm. it lasted this long. Though. I'm surprised I'm not dead yet. Okay, half a heart. Come on, there we go. Poison's dealing half a heart, not dealing just in time. Yes! I just heard some music. Haha! -ha! Dropped on the ground. Let's see. Ocean of Swiftness. Chain boots. And I don't know what the last thing is. Uh spawn blaze. Whoa, okay, why would I spawn a blaze? Ah, there's something up here. It might be parkour. Oh god, it's parkour. Stop to shoot an arrow in there like a fool. <laughs> shoot arrows in here, okay. Let's try it again. Oh, I'm glad I had all those melons earlier. Yeah. Up two. There we go. You have to hit the painting. That's what it was. Oh, I didn't even see the painting. Okay, now there's one opening up lower on the ground. Yep. Uh, should be the third and final one. On the opposite side. Yep, I'm standing. Should be standing near it. Oh, actually, there's two. Well, oh dear, there's one really high up. I'm not sure which ones we 
Oh, I just heard. That spawn cave spider too. I'm not sure why. Oh, there goes his face. Yay! Is it gone yet? No, maybe. <gasps> Whoa! Uh, I just fell into a huge pit. Anything inside? Uh, yep. It is over. It is done. Mm -hmm. The corruption Yay. has been defeated. You have finally won. Right-clicking it with... Oh, step one. Place furnace mine cart here. Power it by right-clicking with coal. Step two. Place cart here. Get in. Press button. Okay. 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 Uh, I've got some coal as well. All right. Here's the cart. Okay. Let's do it. So go ahead and shoot that off. And Yay. then... And then we do ours. So the mine cart. Yay. How oh, cool. I have a potion of swiftness. Turn off. Turn your difficulty to to peaceful or else. Uh, I'm going to go quickly because I don't want to die. Oh, I see. This thing's pushing me. Oh, that's cool. Go. You might need another. Uh, so hang on. Let, I'm let's, just going to walk behind you. When rescue came on the island, you wrote... This may be a problem if there's mobs around the corner. I'll, I'll run ahead of you and kill them. <laughs> you wrote a book on your adventure and entitled it... Should have seen that coming. <laughs> Gloria. Gloria. Oh, okay. I, I didn't even think Actually, earlier why was it called Gloria. <laughs> well, the ship was called the SS Gloria. Ah, okay. Yeah. Okay, I'm expecting you to go a bit faster here. Mm. Nope, okay, I'm just gonna follow you. Oh, he's telling me to look up, I think. I'm not sure. Oh yeah, credits. Press the F1 key. Uh oh my gosh. I'm being attacked. <laughs> I'm going after him crazy. Whoa! Yeah. Okay. I'm getting a major Star Wars moment here. Die, Spider. Die. Inspiration. Jagarbov. Our Smalik. Lost. The Void Fog. I guess this is Void Fog, right? Yeah. Man is brilliant. <laughs> he has so much music out too. Oh yeah. Vex uses his music. At Creeper! Oh my God! <laughs> Run! <laughs> oh serious? Okay, I'm going pretty quick now. Dropped right next to me, but I made it out. <laughs> We're good. Okay. I'm oh, this is power. Oh, what? How did we not see this here before? This must be a copy of the island. Oh, it is. Thanks for playing my map. Hope you enjoyed it. Comments are appreciated on the forums, etc. Okay. I'm running up this because my minecart escaped me. <laughs> oh, we should. Mm -hmm. Now we need to convert our gold. Uh, yeah, our lapis and the blocks, right? Yeah, I didn't even think about that before. Well, gold yeah. as well as lapis. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So. Oh, he's running that. You get a score off this, but you can spend it. Yeah, I didn't realize that. So I've got enough mm -hmm. for exactly one gold block, which I will. Place. I've got thirty. I've got thirty-one um, gold. And then I will start making some lapis blocks. Mm -hmm. Um, there aren't blocks underneath this. Are there? Oh, yes, they're invisible. Okay, almost there. Oh, I'm one lapis short of another block. Oh, I've got a ton. Oh, I can't come through here. There we go. Whoop. <laughs> okay. okay. Oh, there's look at the lapis. I love that texture. Ooh, that's really pretty. All right, here's here's there my is. lapis and. Okay. What other garbage do I have here? That's it. 
That is it for me. I don't know what time we started. It felt not super long. It's about an hour and a half, I think. Okay, that's that's good. I really enjoyed that. That was that was fun. <laughs> okay, I have six lapis blocks and one spare lapis. Oh, and I love this cake too. Oh, so we we actually I think we did pretty good once you once you put yep, it. Yep, and on. I got three gold blocks. Okay, these lapis on. Huh. Yeah, we're pro. Yeah, we got a uh, pro. I would have totally gone for overachiever if we had time. <laughs> okay, and see how we did with gold. Whoa, oops. All the gold's over here. Oh, what's this up top? Um, 16 plus box, rank, secret ending. Ooh. I wonder what that is. It makes me all curious. <laughs> okay, gold here. Let's see. Of course, when two map reviewers and map makers play a map, you can't get away without a little bit of feedback. All right. Well, um, I'm not the person that reviewed Forest of Shadows, but I did play it, and I enjoyed it quite a bit. Um, I feel that this wasn't quite as an extensive or epic map as Forest of Shadows, but at the same time, it was very well designed. It was a lot of old mechanics, but ones that were built upon and used very well. Um, this could very well be your best map, Cold Fusion. Um, yeah, like I said, even though it didn't have the same scale as Forest of Shadows, the puzzles were clever. The boss battle was very well designed, and it wasn't just another Ender Dragon. Um, and your mechanics were brilliant. Great job. Yeah, I agree. That was that was excellent. I I'm gonna start with I think the thing that I liked the least, or not liked the least, but um, I wasn't sure, like we started off and I wasn't sure if we were in modern day, you know, in the 1990s, our world. And then we went, yeah. we went into that like base underneath the boat and then to the nether and then back. I'm not really sure where we were. I think it was pretty clear that we were not, you know, in our world. So I guess we were in Minecraftia, and when we went into the when we went into the Nether, was that a separate world or was that just a plot device? Like, did we actually go somewhere else? That's a good question. And then, like the the corruption was, um, like, where was the corruption? It it was a place that was corrupted. Was it the island corrupted? Yeah, some like the, the, the temporal location confused me a little bit, but I don't think that affected my enjoyment at all in what we were experiencing. Um, I think for me, so I, I rate on the, the five categories, I really enjoyed the creativity, particularly um, particularly the way that he used the dialogue changes. Yeah, and that was very intuitive. Yeah, and, and not just not just in one way. I think he used it in three or four different different ways. He used a, a bunch of different butt switches. I really enjoyed that. I might go with a four in creativity. Um, I agree. From from a detail perspective, I definitely would say four because you know the texture pack helped, but the way he used the texture pack was really well done. Story. Um, I'm kind of torn between a three and a four, although I really want to go back and play it again and see if I had answered those questions differently. If, if it would have been, you know, if some of the stuff would have been explained a little bit more. Mm -hmm. The story was pretty straightforward. It was, it was you crash on the island, you get recruited into a quest, you defeat the corruption. So I might go with a three, although I might, I might re rethink that one by the time I post this. Um, from a difficulty, actually, I thought, I thought that one was probably a four because it was balanced. There were some monster parts. There were some uh, interesting puzzles. I really liked that boss battle at the end. And I almost died <laughs> twice. <laughs> the, the fact that I didn't die, the fact that I was, yeah, that I was like, 
probably down to half hearts. There was a place you could go heal and then get back into the fray. It was very well paced. Uh, and, and that also speaks to progression, which I would say is a four. So th this, this map for me is either going to be a 19 or a 20. So Fangride, thanks a ton for playing that map with me. I enjoyed it immensely. And uh, also thank you for doing that research on my map review thread. I look forward to playing more games with you in the future.